day viewers this is a Florida Golden Girl I am back in the town of Cocoa Florida today we're going to be looking at another local cemetery today we're going to be doing a walk through Brevard Memorial Park this is a large cemetery very well maintained reminds me of a few others that I've been through but uh, let's take a walk through and see what we can find I hope everybody is having a great day and enjoying this beautiful weather that we're having no regardless of whether you are in the world here's a few of the rules the cemetery has um, there's very few cemeteries that I have come across that actually will do uh, post the rules the ones that don't, you know, others will be quick to take advantage of. This is a 20th century uh, cemetery serving the local area. Um, there's nothing here of historical interest. Probably a lot of veterans. For example, once you even go through the, the front gate, you have a World War II uh, veteran. And then if I go to the other side, you can see where you got a road going down and then you got a U-shaped. A lot of the cemetery designs are like that, the 20th century ones. You've got um, a family here. like you've got an or ornamental lake which we'll go take a look at because you know we love a good lake driving around Coco um, which I mentioned is in the vicinity of Patrick Air Force Base um, it looks um, not forgotten i'm trying to think of uh like the town is there but that's about it i mean you don't see nobody on the roads i mean the stores are like eh. i would i wouldn't even bother i don't know lake so this is in a cemetery I mean uh, the cemetery is kind of it borders on the local neighborhoods it's very well laid out I mean there is a lot to it we may not get to every part but at least you know you'll have an idea of what I'm talking about They've got a few water features. They've got, um, in a the distance, they've got another one over there we'll take a look at. So, they have an area called Baby Land. So, immediately I'm gonna think that this is the infant section which you know is always sad. You... Not even, maybe a little over 30 days old. And then you got a 1960. Wow, a lot of them died in 1960. And then if I walk up over here 
Lots of 60s babies, folks. 1965. Um, more babies over here. Well, I'm lucky I got um, a whole cemetery to myself. Looks like they're getting ready to bury somebody over there in the distance. Well, somebody's bur burning something. Smells like burnt wood. So it looks like there is a cenotaph in memory of the Challenger crew. That's 90, 1986. And then it looks like this is in memory of the Columbia crew in So this looks like it's a columbarium in the middle of a road. Well, they got the road behind, around it, but. It's open. you can see somebody drove by. Nicely laid out. Lots of uh, veterans. We got a World War II there. Hi. <laughs> I don't use high speed um, technology like many YouTubers do. What I have found is these are people that are given these products and they go, oh, here, this is what I'm using, blah, blah, blah. You do like a, a few minutes, they're given a full, you know, like a, almost a thousand dollar piece of equipment for free, you know? 
not me. I'm using an iPhone. Camera works great. I don't see the need of spending money on something um, that I just don't seem to need, justify the need for. So this looks like this is water features turned off. But I'm sure when it was turned on, it was pretty. You got uh, niche buried over there. Like I said, it's, you know, very well maintained. But I mean, it's it's got its own unique charm. She's still alive. No, she died in 1989. And then you have another World War II vet, 1999. And then here you got another one that died in 1984. Oh, here you do, you got a Marine Corps veteran. tell you, you can really get some exercise when you, uh, when you're in cemeteries. We went to, um, in last week's vlog, um, when I got back to the car after filming, my sidekick told me um, that he actually talked to the owner. He said his wife was like me that liked going to visit cemeteries. And the weird thing was she inherited one. So she um, took care of it for a few years and then she get handed it over to her husband and says, I don't want to have nothing, nothing more to do with it. She now hates cemeteries. How interesting. Now, what would I do if I inherited a cemetery? It just depends. Sometimes they run themselves. I mean, if you've got the right people um, that um, do the right thing, you really don't need to change anything. But it depends. Well, folks. Let's go check this out real quick. Before we go up the hill. I guess this looks like the Jewish section. Um... You have Ida Weiss, and then you have Sirota. And then you have Marvin, Marled, World War II vet. And then you've got a few more down there. I just wanted to take a look. So we're, we are in the section known as the Garden of Devotion. These are all people that have died in the 1980s. 
I'm sorry that my shadow keeps getting in the way, but it's hard, you know, to try to allow you to view the headstones when you see my, my, uh, my, uh, <laughs> the outline of who I am. So, I am in the back, and um, I wanted to show you this. This looked kind of cool. It's the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us, forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. And then you could see back there, it's someone's house. <sighs> but uh, yeah, I mean, it's, we've been over there and then over there where the dead fountain is and then But this is Brevard Memorial Park in a nutshell, folks. Um, I always like to take you to cemeteries. Some are going to be, yeah, some are going to be, yeah, right on. But again, every cemetery has its own unique charm, its own, its own history. And so I think the cool things was is they had those um, cenotaphs did, uh, dedicated to the uh, Columbia and the Challenger. Well, folks, this is going to do it for today's video. Please like, subscribe to my channel, click the notification bell to let you know when a new video will be uploaded. Tell a neighbor, tell a friend, tell a stranger, tell a dog, tell the cat. Through your word, this channel grows. And for those that take the time to just come in and check out my earlier vlogs as well, it's much appreciated. Word of mouth is how my channel grows, and I appreciate each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart. Time goes by, folks time goes by when you no longer working and then you wonder how do I fill my day you have to structure each day as your best able I think mine is structured around um, doctor appointments you know if I know I'm going to be here then I'll make errands you know dry cleaner at the post office, things like that. I do that because um, it saves time and money. It's like when I vlog, you know, if I'm in the area, then I know I could save time by visiting different places. But again, th folks, I appreciate you. This is the Florida girl saying again, thank you for watching. From Cocoa, Florida, so long for now.